Hi, uh, Felix, he, he wanted to try and, uh, I'm doing a little video for Felix here, he wanted to do some squiggly lines or ask to how that could be done. There's a sort of an example uh, that I did earlier, I'll quickly show you how I came to that. I, I grab the arc tool, uh, pull an arc out, pull it to whatever radius, it's not that fussy really. Okay, that's the first one. Then if you go on to the end of that one, uh, I can then draw another one. Now as you know, you may not know, but SketchUp also finds a tangent from the last point you drew up, which is what it's doing now. You can tell by the colour, the, the blue colour, the light blue colour. Uh, you then click that to get that second one, and then again to get another one. Right. Once you're happy with that, you can then do one of two things. You can either um, select them all, get the scale tool, and then just scale them up and down to your to your for your pleasure, like so. Yeah. If you also, if you if you want to then do them individually, you get the scale tool again. It's just off click it, and then click back on again. And you can also do that individually, yeah. So, to what to do whatever suits whatever suits yourself. Once you're happy with that, then you can uh, just get your radius tool to bring it round there. As you say, it's giving it a tangent again, so it's nice and smooth. When you're happy again with that, you then get your uh, polygon tool. Uh, now, if it's not set on three sides, which sometimes it's not, if you just type in um, six S enter it'll then change it to six sides okay when you've got the three side one that you've got there pop it on there put one click pull it away like so if you if you're cool with that in fact you can even if you wish to um, you could even scale that and adjust that if you wish to do that okay and that's sort of uh, I'll, just, I'll just rub this out there to give it a bit of flair <laughs> so there you go so that's the triangle there. I can also, um, if I just pull that there, I can make that a bit longer to make it a bit more, you know, a bit more groovier, so to speak. I could also, if I hold the control down, it goes from the centre, and that gives us that nice little harrow, you know, to do what you want to do with. Hope that's okay. Another thing I'll quickly tell you before I go, um, if you wish to do it by material, because I noticed that your lines on your drawing were coloured. Um, you would go to styles, which is window styles, pull the styles menu, menu down, and if you then come down to the bottom under uh, under edit, under the little um, box there, what I'm pointing at there, uh, it's a line box I think, uh, if you just then go by material, then you can then actually then apply a material to a line. So if I was to, oh, I don't know, let's just find a nice colour, let's have this green colour. If I then I can then apply that to the line, you see, and that will then make that green when I, when I, when I can reach it. Okay, I hope that sort of answers your question. Um, I can't get in there. Look, there we go. Uh, and if you have any more problems, then uh, just let me know. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.